of the early books we did of Ansel's are significant to me because they were so important. He changed my life. I think I was referring now to this talk that this novelist spoke. It is uh, cer uh, ceremonies of, uh, of Ansel's in uh, Sunset Center in Carmel. Anyway, and he said he'd known perhaps three great men in his life. And uh, Ansel was not the least among them. Ansel was a great man. He did things in photography like the zone system, let's say, that he developed for making prints uh, because you, you made better prints that way. He's a genius at camera placement. Now, I've checked this out with people who know much more than I do, and I said it, it, it seems to me that you know, you always, you'll, you'll be riding out in the country somewhere, you're driving along the highway and you say, you see something, gee, that'd make a great photograph. Wouldn't that be a great photograph? I wished I'd had my camera with me. Probably wouldn't have been a photograph at all because you didn't know how to make a photograph. You think it's out there, it looks just like it does on a wall, hanging in your living, living room, it doesn't. Ansel, did so much for photography, for the awareness of people. I mean, he created an awareness for an art form that didn't even exist as an art form or was hardly thought of as such. Great photographers were making great pictures, but they kind of didn't see it was something you could hang on the wall like a piece of art. We did a lot of lying then with the scanner as to what telling it what to do and what to give us so we could get we could get beautiful negatives that allow us put a lot of ink on and it was had to be high tack ink and very dense pigment to vehicle ratio we wanted uh, we wanted all that we could get and the ink still flow it has to flow through an ink fountain t to get onto the to the plate and then to the paper you use the term high tack. What does that mean? In it means ink would rather stick to itself, it, it, natural tendency. It, it'd rather stick to itself. And uh, so if you put more ink on and it's high tack, it'll, it'll build up that thing taller and taller, give you more of a, more of a density and depth of black there. It's, if it's not high tack, if it's very fluid, soupy, so to speak, it'll just spill down the mountain and broaden the base, and you won't have any uh, control of detail in the shadows. So we had a we had a method that, and it was logical. My partner was Orby Fulmer. We we gave a name to our reproduction, so it's not just another duotone; it's a full tone, and the full tone means these things. We run it with high tack inks and uh, uh, dense pigment to vehicle ratio. We did a job in, in the portfolios book for Ansel Adams. Uh, there was one photograph and uh, Ansel was on press at, uh, at our shop for that book. First time he came, he was there a second time, but thereafter he never came to the press. Ansel was, he loved new technology. He knew what we were doing because we talked about it. He wanted to be there to see what it did to his photographs. His objective is to have people reproduce, have the photograph reproduce so well that you couldn't distinguish it from the, from the reproduction from the original. If you framed them in the same frame size and the same matting and hung them on a wall under the same light, you'd have difficulty telling which which is uh, the original and which is a reproduction. So in, uh, in the portfolios book, uh, we, ha we had a press sheet and, uh, and we, interestingly enough, we brought it out to Ansel and uh, uh, the first press sheet came off the press. I, I said, now Ansel, we have all of the originals here that we can compare with the sheet if you liked. And Ansel says, oh, never mind those. He didn't look at his originals at all. He was only interested in what the press did right now. Now that doesn't sound uh, uh, 
uh, like anything brilliant. But Ansel knew that we were in a different method. It's, it's ink on paper here and a photographic print is something altogether different. Uh, he was prepared for what came out. Of course, our objective was to reproduce the original photograph. So we had to have that to look, say, are we doing it? He knew what the photograph looked like, so he didn't have to. And also, people say, well, Ansel must have been really fussy to deal with. Quite to the contrary. He was reasonable because he knew you were in a different technology here. You got to prepare. If, if it doesn't produce what he wants to see, then he's not going to utilize it. But he doesn't expect to slavishly follow something out the window. So uh, uh, he ignored the original photograph. So uh, when this, uh, we were now kind of going, that was brought into a room and looked at it. We back to the press and we, uh, we, we made, well, this is called a make ready process in printing. You're making everything right before you say, okay, now start printing the book. Um, and uh, there was an image in the portfolio that down the lower right hand corner of the press sheet. And uh, I said, now, Ansel, we're, we're, uh, we're getting something here. We're getting a little more information uh, than a little more information than uh, we have in the original photograph down here. He didn't even let me finish the sentence. He said, raised his right hand like Moses or something. He says, he said, I have no objection to image enhancement. <laughs> the whole objective was to reproduce that photograph the way he made it. He already knew what it looked like. Right. He already knew where you had shadowed detail he wanted to hold and everything else. So uh, we, we couldn't do it better, no. Uh, there is no better because the only thing is what he likes. He's the artist here. We're not artists and we didn't try to, we don't try to play artists. We don't, we don't try to make something snappy uh, if it isn't snappy, uh, the photograph is our Bible. I'm asking, I'm saying, now Ansel, we're holding a little more information here, so you're correct in that, that we're holding something that his original print didn't have, but you don't know if he wanted it that way or not. He, in this case, he was pleased to have the shadow detail that was down there. So that was... That was what our objective was, and uh, if if he likes it better, we're thrilled. But it leaves you kind of at sea. We don't go around trying to make the picture the way we want to see it.